So today we're checking out the Bear Creek Arsenal. Ooh, controversial, right? We've heard some good and probably maybe more bad recently about Bear Creek Arsenal. And so I thought, let's see what this is all about. So I got one of their 556 uppers with one of their multi-caliber lowers right here. So I've got a whole bunch of some 223 ammo. I've got a little bit of some 556 uh, just because didn't find the right stuff when I was at the gun shop the other day. But anyhow, we've got plenty of ammo and we're going to shoot this thing and see, does it work? First of all, I'm interested to find out after seeing some of the people talking on YouTube lately, if this thing will even shoot past 50 or 60 rounds. So we're going to do that today and basically just just that, just shoot this thing a whole lot, put a couple of hundred rounds through it, and hopefully that'll give me a little bit of a indication of whether or not this Bear Creek Arsenal stuff sucks, like everyone says it does, or if it's actually pretty decent. So here we go, let's start shooting and let the gun do the talking. All right, here we go. All right, so we had our first feeding issue here. All right, so seems to kind of be working pretty good. Um, let's keep going.
even with these cheap mags, this Bear Creek Arsenal 556 is working. And we've gone through almost all my ammo. That's a lot more shots than I was figuring to get out of this after seeing some of the other reviews on this guy. So. This thing just actually shoots really nice. It's working really good. Like really, really, really good. I'm gonna need to go get some more ammo and some more magazines. This thing I think is gonna take a few more thousand rounds before we really break it. So, so far, there you have it guys, the Pear Creek Arsenal 556. Not too bad in my opinion. Seems to be working, couple hundred rounds in, and we are just blink, 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 plinkity plinking. But we do have, I think 21 shots of that uh, good Winchester left. So let's see how these will run. As I mentioned, we went through an entire 150 round range pack of these uh, Winchesters. Cycled pretty much all of them. I mean, we had, I think two, two jams maybe for the whole 150 round pack. And then, uh, oh, I forget what that other, that other box that I started out with, uh, but 80 shots of those all right through it. No problem as well. So it seems like as long as you're using the good quality ammo, have no problems. Haven't ran a whole lot of the 5.56 through it because all I've got of that are these green tips, but we'll do a few rounds of those just for fun. You know, we're out here, why not? Here we go. So, see? Runs those just fine. All right, guys. So, final thoughts here on the BCA Bear Creek Arsenal setup. I actually like it, you know? Um, maybe I won't after a couple thousand rounds. We'll have to see. Um, if you guys wanna make that happen, <laughs> Now's your chance, video's coming to a close, so hit some of those links down in the description below. Check out my sponsor, Viridian. Check out my sponsor, Tacticon. Help support the channel, help support those cool companies, and we'll get some more ammo that way, because bullets aren't cheap. But to sort of finish things out here with the Bear Creek Arsenal, I mean, several hundred rounds at least, put through this thing with very little problems. But I'm gonna definitely say that they don't all suck. You know, maybe there's some that suck, but this one doesn't suck. So there's a really good chance that you guys could get the same thing and probably not have it suck and actually, in fact, have it be really pretty dang awesome, just like this one is right here. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, why don't you check out one of the other couple of videos up on screen right now? We can hang out some more. Or, like I mentioned, start smashing those sponsor links in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.